Okay, so let's do the due diligence here in terms of letting you understand what you want to think about when you're using a rubber molding product. You need to know the behaviors of your rubber molding product. And so we're going to do our rubber mold with Sort of Clear 37. I've worked with a bunch of these different polymers and mixed them. But if you look at the options you have, um, Sort of Clear 37 right here, this, this region is... Let's turn the highlighter on. Actually, let's let's modify this thing so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, yellow's good. Can I get some transparency to that? Yeah. Boom. Okay. So I want to draw a shape. So sort of clear 37, right? This one's got good working properties. It's equal parts by volume. It's also equal parts by weight. So it's really easy to use. It's got a four hour cure time. It's shore hardness is 37A. And it's tensile strength is really strong. Like if you look here, there's there's a lot you can do with it. You got 600 PSI of, of strength and 400% elongation at break, which means you can stretch it you know, four times as much before it starts to tear. Um, but you do need to check your dye tear strength. And so I like Sort of Clear because it's got the balance of everything. It's easy to mix, being one to one by volume. It's got a short pot life and a good cure time, in addition to all these other material properties. But depending on what you're doing, it's always good to check. And so I really wanted to go through when you get your um, data sheet from Smooth On, you can look at the material properties and the technical overview and then determine what you want to do in terms of process. But if you don't know how to find that information, um, you're out of luck. So you do want to be able to get the PDF. You can download that from the website, or when you purchase the product, there should be a hard copy of the technical specs inside the silicone kit that you're getting. But we're going to go through how to find that on the internet. So um, you just type in smoothon.com. This is the website that we're at. There's our URL. And this is a great uh, resource because you can find everything you're looking for in terms of technical specs and bulletins, right? Or you can start by searching for products. And so if you know what you're looking for, you can either go through applications, you can go through products, or you can go straight to where you need depending on what you're looking for. So as we go through the products, uh, Sort of Clear 37 is a platinum cure rubber and it's got really good working properties and if you go down here is the list of products that are available and you can click learn more to get more information and it will walk you through video galleries and all sorts of steps that you need to do okay uh, what we need are the technical specs so we're just gonna go back And we're looking for the technicals and bulletins. And we know that we want the Sort of Clear series. And specifically, we want Sort of Clear 37. The tech specs is what we looked at. You also want to get the safety data sheet. So this will tell you any risks you have in terms of whether or not you need to wear a respirator, rubber gloves, uh, flammability, everything you need to know. And so you want to download your SDS sheets and that's safety data sheets to let you know if there's any other precautions you need to take while using this material right and sometimes there'll be good indications like oh this will react with either latex or tin cure or um, nitrile gloves and you want to look for any specific requirements to avoid when you're mixing your silicone but it's pretty straightforward to go through you just got to read everything it's good to do once and then each time you get a new silicone usually within that same parameter like the sort of clear series the SDS's are consistent throughout they've just changed some of the cure rates and those properties okay just know you're gonna download these and keep them in a book wherever you're doing your polymer mixing so that if anyone has any questions you can get that information and you can also contact um, the company if you have trouble doing any of your manufacturing processes and you're following the specifications that they've given you. And the nice part is when you get to the very end they've got the first aid measures if anything is um, going wrong and you need to treat someone who's had an issue with the silicone. I've never had any trouble with the sort of clear 
but that's not to say that it can't happen. All right, so from there, if you're looking to purchase the material, uh, generally it's a good idea to just try and find a distributor. So what I'll do is I'll click find a distributor near you and where I teach is uh, in, in Pratt. And Pratt is located at Washington and it's in Seattle. So you can see on the map there's a whole bunch of distributors locally for Washington um, that, that we can get access to. There's one in Seattle as uh, Reynolds Advanced Materials, another one in Seattle Artists and Craftsmen Supply, another uh, Blick Art Materials, and then Seattle Pottery Supply. Now it's good to call these distributors to see what they carry, um, but when you go into Reynolds Advanced Materials, they have a full suite of Smooth On product. So if you're trying to get an idea of what shore hardness is in terms of 37A or 12A, or you're playing with the Star products or Dragon Skin or Ecoflex, they have cast samples so you can test the elasticity, the translucency, the color catch, and they can talk to you about any technical issues you may have in terms of mixing to color match or getting a specific behavior you want in the material, whether it's polyurethane or silicone or so, some other castable member. Uh, so I really like Reynolds Advanced Materials. They have the full line distributor. That's what you're looking for. Um, you want to make sure that if they have limited stock, the, the group is carrying what you'd expect. Okay. And then from there, you just have your SDS sheets and your technical specs uh, saved either to your computer or in hard copy once you purchase the actual product. So. That's all you need to know before you start mixing silicone, but I wanted to make sure that that information was conveyed.